So seriously, I can't be trusted to do my own shopping. That's the first time that I've been out on my own accord um, for probably two and a bit months. I've just spent 65 euros on shopping and literally I've got a couple of beers, a handful of beers and one shopping bag. So what did you buy I hear you say? Obviously I bought some stout. I got a cheeky can of Monster. I've not had one of these for so long. So I'm going to look forward to that. Actually very very soon. And then I'm going to moan that I'm not going to sleep tonight. Then I have this big bag of goodies. Obviously I can't say the word that I'd normally call that. That is toilet roll. Not that I call it toilet roll. I call it something else. But it won't be suitable for the children that watch this video. Also, this is another reason why I can't be trusted. Literally, the shop is like six kilometers away. And on my way back, and bear in mind, there's no traffic. It's a nice little way back. Yeah. That just, that, I don't know how that happened. It was completely sealed when I was at the checkout. But hey ho, I don't eat crisps. I don't buy crisps. And that is the reason why I don't buy them. I want to try and be good and healthy. But no, no, no. What happens is as soon as Martin gets crisps, they absolutely get demolished so yeah I don't really eat bread but I fancy some bread it's not often I buy bread we have some bimbo obviously we all love a good bimbo eggy egg eggs and I'm one of them people that people don't like because I keep my eggs in the fridge because of COVID I bought some COVID killer obviously so I don't drink all the stout in one go I have some very, very cheap crystal ale. This, we have some apples. We love apples. I love apples. Anyone that speaks to me on the phone in the evening time, you'll know how much I love an apple in the evening. What else do I have in my bag of goodies? I have smoking materials. I won't put that on the camera because we get told off. We're not allowed to do the whole smoking thing. So yeah, no smoking materials were purchased in that shopping run. I am running low on my Max White toothpaste. It's damn expensive, that is, but it's well worth it. It makes your teeth pearly whites. Uh, oh, look. Carrots. Carrots, carrots, carrots. Carrots are always good. Always good. Do a lot with carrots. Like, you can eat them, and you can cook them, and then eat them. Fabric conditioner. That's because I dropped one of them in the bog when I emptied the bog, and I also do my washing with them, but not at the same time. some level 11 intensity coffee because I'm running out of coffee my last bit is in the jar here so more coffee was required I'm a pretty easy shop really I treated myself I don't buy chocolate but today I treated myself to a dark chocolate so that can live in the fridge because it will just melt within seconds with the heat that I like this van to be sat at oh this is one not for the vegans this is some some steaks a little bit expensive for what they are but there's enough for me to have maybe one meal there what else did we buy roll on deodorant um now i never used to use roll on deodorant but 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 since i've been out here it's cheaper and it's more widely available than antiperspirant and i prefer it it does a much better job and it is apparently it's better for the environment but I'm not sure if it is because this plastic probably doesn't get recycled, but the tins probably don't get recycled either. I don't know if you know which one is more better for the environment because obviously I live in a van and I need to do all these amazing van life things where we're trying to protect the planet. Speed camera. Still down. <laughs> um, but seriously, I'm surprised that they actually do the job better than a spray. And coming down to the bottom, this is not for me, that is not mine, that was picked up for someone. I need to deliver that. We have some mature cheddar, yeah. That can live with the chocolate, well apparently it lives in the bottom now. Um, what else have we got? 
Oh, freezer stuff. Lazy, lazy chicken, breaded stuff. But that is only because every so often I want a lazy day. And getting down to the bottom, this is one thing I don't normally buy. It's like a cereal thing. But it's a muesli, so I'll be enjoying that. God help me if I need anything out of this cupboard because it's going to attack me. Just filming everything at the minute because obviously the YouTube stuff is slow, the income is slow, and we just need to put out this silly content where we show you what we bought from the shops just so we can make an extra dollar. And last but not least, I bought a smelly candle. Now, do you know what's pissed me off, okay? Really, really pissed me off. I can buy this candle. That's essential shopping. What I can't do is buy a bed sheet or some underwear because that's not essential. I don't, I don't get the logic in that. I can buy, I, I, I don't even know. What else did they have there that was stupid? Oh, pretend plants. I can buy pretend plants, but I can't buy boxer shorts. I can buy a new, I don't know, another thing that's stupid, just something stupid. I can go to McDonald's, but I'm not allowed to go to the gym. Like that sort of stupidity. Also, someone asked if my plants um, are just for YouTube. No, they're not. My plants aren't just for YouTube. Um, at the minute, I don't use this hob. I use the electric one because obviously I have the hook up. Uh, when I start driving around, then what will happen is they'll get stocked up in the actual toilet room itself and in the sink and what I can't take with me won't go with me. But there should, there should be homes for all my plants. And this bamboo is coming on. It's not even a bamboo. I don't know why I call it bamboo. It's called a lucky bamboo, but it's not really a bamboo. Focus camera. Yay. No. Oh, I don't know what's happening to the focus. There we go. We're in focus now. But yeah, it's starting to shoot off a little bit. So that was... Uh, that was my little trip out. I was well excited. It's the first time I've left here to go and do something for me. So I took like an hour and a half. It was bliss, like walking down the aisles, listening to the people tell me what checkout to go to, handing over money. Actually, no, I didn't enjoy that bit. But anyway, it was a good hour out, at least a good hour out. So I'm back. Um, somebody's cooking for me tonight, so I am well looking forward to that. But I need to get these beers into the fridge, tidy up the rest of the stuff, and do nothing for the rest of the evening. Good morning. Now, yesterday, I said about my deodorant, and I didn't know which one was better for the environment. And then I proudly announced that I bought some Pringles, which, this is probably the worst thing in the environment. But I will not let it go to waste. I'm going to turn it into a bird feeder to hang from one of the trees. I just need to get hold of some wooden spoons before I do that. So as much as I did something bad, I'm going to make something good from it. Bloody books. Come on. Bloody eerie wig. Come on. I'm not going to hurt you. Climb on my hand. That's it. And you say hello to the camera. You can live out there. Okay, I'm sorry about that. So, I obviously tried to make a terranium, or terrarium, terrarium, terramium. I can't say the bloody word now. I could say it before, now I can't say it. Terranium. I don't know if it's going to work. We'll see. Maybe that size bottle isn't right. But I've just got myself some cauliflower, a red cabbage, and a handful of sprouts out the garden that is going to compliment my meal this evening well it is request time and I've been requested to show everyone how to poach a bloody egg I I'm sure it's pretty obvious how to poach an egg I'm, I'm sure it's obvious but for those that don't know I'm gonna poach an egg um, literally I just use a pan water a little bit of salt and that is that's basically it so Let's start with some salt. Okay, and what I like to do is break the eggs that I'll be using into bowls or cups or just something else. So there is one. Nice big eggs. And there is two. 
So I bring the water up to the boil and then I turn it off. I think a little bit more salt in there. The good thing is about these electric hobs is they stay warm after you turn them off for quite some time. And then I grab my egg and we just go one egg. That can get washed up. Just give it a little stir around just so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan and then very carefully probably the wrong size pan for this because that is poaching lovely oh my god we'll just spin the pan round instead so on the opposite side we'll pop that one in hopefully they do not stick together this pan is probably too small I'm probably gonna fail this the pan just seems too small probably guess I don't actually like my toast toasted I like my toast to be a little bit like bread still so there is one and there is two perfectly done perfectly adequate for me poached eggs Okay, now they probably weren't the best instructions because I didn't tell you how long I left stuff in for. The thing is I never know. I don't know how hot the water is. I just do it until it looks right. Um, but give it a go. And it is skillful. Just using a spoon to try and fish them out. That's a skill in itself. <laughs> 